All right, everybody, we're back today and we're talking about Zoom. There's been a number of questions over the past couple of weeks about connecting your X32 or your M32 into Zoom. Today, we're going to show you all of the ins and outs of how to do that. We've got two different approaches. Let's dive in now. All right, so to get started with this Zoom setup, the first thing we're gonna do is pay attention to the fact that everything talks to the computer, in this case, uh, on USB 1 and 2. So the console is sending audio across USB 1 and 2 into Zoom, and Zoom is sending audio back to the console across USB 1 and 2. One is input, one is output. So. To start out with, we're gonna make a generic stream. Um, maybe I have mixed buses one through eight as monitors. So nine through 16, you see I've got a couple available buses here. I'm going to take mixed bus nine. I'm going to link it with 10. Uh, that's 11 and 12, isn't it? Let's go and choose nine, there we go. Nine and 10, I'm gonna link these. So now I've got a stereo pair. I'm going to come over to Setup, page over to name an icon, and for example, I'm just gonna make them white so that we can see them really easily. The next thing I've gotta do is I would have to build a mix that goes out into, you know, I might unmute channels, and you've got your stream mix here that's going out into your stream. So that's our generic stream going into bus nine and 10. We also wanna check that bus nine and 10 do not have the stereo bus selected so that they does not get heard in our main output. For routing, we're gonna end up sending this out card one and two. But before we get there, we're going to come back over to our input side and designate a zoom input. So most people are using channels one through 16, maybe even 17 to 32, um, but we have these other spots here, auxiliary in, these by default map to the inputs on the back of the console. Now it might be beneficial to use these. Most people use five and six for PC, that's got a quarter inch and an RCA input, but one and two, three and four, you might not be using. So a good way to not take up any additional channels on the board is to use, let's say, aux one and two. So I'm gonna select aux one. I'm going to come over to our home screen. I'm gonna link that. So now aux one and two are a stereo pair. With Zoom coming back in, you might be able to get away with a mono input, but for this example, we're gonna use a stereo pair to keep it nice and consistent. Next, I'm gonna go into my setup. I'll go back over to the name and icon tab. And again, we'll make this bright white so it's easy to identify. So now we have stream going out and we have zoom audio coming back in. Do make sure that aux one and two have the stereo selected so that they can go into your main bus. The next thing we wanna check is that it's not going back into our stream, which would create a feedback loop. So we select our stream, we hit sends on fader, and here we can see that in fact, the faders are down and it's muted. You may have PC going into your stream, you may have effects going into your stream, make sure that this is muted so it is not heard in your stream. All right, we're gonna dive into the screen up here and do some routing real quick. All right, so here we are. We have hit the routing button and we're at the main screen. We're gonna page all the way over to the right and we're gonna get to the user settings. Here on the user settings, first thing we're going to do is select our inputs. So Zoom is gonna come back in through USB one and two and it's gonna be uh, routed to our auxiliary setup. To make this work, auxiliary uh, input one needs to be card one. Input two needs to be card two. Input three, we're gonna select aux in three. Input four is aux in four, five, and six. So we're gonna set up user inputs for six settings. You'll see why in just a minute. Just trust me on this one. The next one is our outputs. 
All right, so our user outputs are going to be routed with our Mixbus 9 and 10. So output 1 is going to take our Mixbus or output 9 and then output 2 is going to be output 10. So what that's setting is that uh, in a minute we'll select these outputs on our card. So Mixbus 9 is going to be routed out of output 1, Mixbus 10, output 2. All right, let's page over and we're going to go all the way over here. So on our input side, let's start off with this. We're not going to mess with our 32 inputs. Remember we're going to be using auxiliaries. So we're going to come down and we're going to select user in one through six. When you do that, you're going to see a switch on your auxiliary one and two channels, which now will have a CO1 and a CO2 on them, telling you that aux one and two are being fed by card one and card two coming into the console. The next thing we want to do is we want to scoot over to card because this is telling what we're going to send out and we're going to scroll down. We're going to find user one through eight. Once we select user out one through eight, you can see now on the right hand side that USB one and two are now mapped with a source from Mixbus nine and 10, which is our stream output. All right, so this is getting deep into routing now we're doing in on USB 1 and 2 and out on USB 1 and 2 and maybe even using some auxiliary inputs to get your audio back into your console. Lots of routing things going on in this video, but I hope you found it helpful. I hope this helps you take your church or your venue to the next step. A lot of people are doing live stream events. They're doing little backyard events and, and you might be getting called to run sound for those events, but they also want it to be streamed through Zoom. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you've liked this content, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share with people. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.